the Bear and Cheryl Show Halloween edition. So, I'm guess guess where I'm going as? Guess where I'm going as? Guess what I'm going as? The circle of life, and it fills us so. I can't remember if that's exactly what it is. It circles us all. Um, something, something, something. The circle. The circle of life. Yeah, that's it. Babies going. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm going as a fan um, at the Quidditch matches. So I'm going to see. I've got a Hogwarts hat. That is Cheryl's favorite team, Gryffindor. And also my favorite team. So, mwah. happy Halloween, everybody. We decided to not be super spooky in our Halloween extravaganza. Because we feel like it's being too much that way in general. And we're like, no, I want Halloween to be fun and, and engaging again. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. Are we there? Okay. Yes. So, I want it to be Halloween to be engaging again. What do you think, Bear? Normally, Bear does not want to wear a costume, but I asked him if he would because it's Halloween time. It's actually the 28th, but we thought we would rock out because I think I'm going to be busy on Halloween, so I wanted to do it today. And guess who else is joining us? Brayden! Brayden! Brayden, get on in there. Hello, everyone. We do not have the Halloween tradition in the Brachiosaurus families. Um, but I think the pterodactyls like to somehow, you know, pretend that they aren't flying um, animals and like walk around, which freaks people out. <sighs> but I decided to go as a Brontosaurus instead of a Brachiosaurus for Halloween. Happy to see everyone, happy to be here. Thank you, Brayden. He's our newest edition, so we're very happy. Okay, check it out. That's an example of my artwork. Okay, it is a pumpkin truck. Now, I know they kind of borrowed it from the little red truck of Hallmark Christmas movie fame. But come on, I mean, that's just, that's just good art right there. So I'm like, yeah, what if there was a pumpkin truck? I mean, there'd be a pumpkin truck because there's a pumpkin patch. So there'd be a pumpkin truck, right? So, yeah, so that's what we're all doing. We're all doing that. And then we've got a book. We've got a book. Brayden, tell them about the book. Okay, yeah, nobody, yeah, sorry, there he is. Are you in the shot? Where are you? There you are. What? There you are. Hello. 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 Uh, <laughs> baby's over here. <laughs> baby's in the shot, too. Okay, so we've got a book for you guys. Because it's also Bear's Book Corner. So, Bear, we should sing something. And I'm Nala. I'm Nala. This is a little tight for me. But I'm Nala. Because Nala's my absolute favorite character. Um, from The Lion King. Um, so, it's like Halloween uh, Book Corner. So, should we jazz it up a little? See if we can. Halloween Book Corner? Halloween Book Corner. Halloween Book Corner right now. Boo! 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 Halloween book corner, Halloween book corner, Halloween book corner, right now, boo, 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 happy Halloween, right, happy Halloween, maybe you, may you not get those crappy, you know, molasses favorite toffee things in your Halloween bag this year, may you get only wonderful fun things that you like, like jelly beans maybe, white chocolate with almonds, um, caramel of various kinds and shapes, maybe some nougats, and I don't know, what do you like, baby? What do you, what's your favorite, what's your favorite candy? Oh my god, that's super retro, but yes, he likes that sort of taffy stuff, you can buy like salt water taffy, but like good, like tasty, maybe some uh, jelly beans, um, like Junior Caramels, like Junior Mints, but it's called Junior Caramels. That was very delicious. And even good cookies with, like, caramel in it. Something like that. Caramel apples! Yes! Oh my god, I can't eat apples, but if I could, caramel apples is very good. 
Yeah, back in the day, sometimes they would make homemade treats, but you know, of course, we're not really around to eat homemade treats, so everybody be careful. You know, tell your mom if you get a homemade treat. It's very important. So, right? Well, hopefully there is going to be a trick-or-treating kind of time this year. I don't know. Maybe there will be because, you know, cutbacks, I think, on candy and stuff. Or maybe it's just, you know, people don't do it as much. But I hope people go out and have a good time because I remember we just had the best time in the 70s. And if you if you were in the 70s, you remember those costumes were really with just pieces of plastic and then this this um, mask that you couldn't bloody breathe out of because there were like two tiny nose holes <laughs> you thought you were gonna you know windy your face is all red because you're trying to but it was great we loved it and we did not mind that we we were just so happy to have halloween and everybody wore them and the every there had so many different kinds god we just loved it so much it was really good Anyway, that was Halloween. That was Halloween. Mm -mm. Well, Bear and I didn't really know each other then, you know. But I'm sure in your Bear family, he, he did Bear Halloween. Did you guys do Bear Halloween? Okay. Well, it's really good if you didn't. And you get, like, this pumpkin pail. And you can walk around with it. And then later, um, you know, pillowcases. Because you can get more candy that way. Right? Right? You want to weigh in on this, Brayden? You want to weigh in? Brayden? Oh, there he is. Brayden. It's a family show. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. What is this thing? What is this thing? It's our iPad. It's how we do the videos, man. We don't have our very own TV studio, but we kind of do. So this is our Halloween show. Da, da, da. Right? So we have a book for you. Yes, we do. Have a book for you. Could not turn it down. Had to buy it. Okay. Boom. Happy Halloween, little engine. How cute is that? Because, again, we're trying to have a fun Halloween. A cute Halloween. Like, I remember. Okay, so here we go. The little engine that could. Happy Halloween, little engine. Um, indeed. Right? It was Halloween night, and the little blue engine invited her friends to the station. All aboard! Find a seat, and we'll go trick-or-treat. See how that rhymed right there? Find a seat, trick-or-treat. Who'd refuse such a sweet invitation? Right, everybody? Right? I mean, who would? I don't know. I wouldn't. Come on. And it's got this cool little flaps, too. It's really super useful. She stopped at each house and collected their treats, each friend hoping to gather the most. Oh, the costumes they wore won such praise at each door, like the teddy bear's two-headed ghost. Did you know? See the flaps? Check those flaps out. Did you know I had a twin sister there once? Yeah, she wouldn't go to me. She wasn't any good at me. <laughs> so we, we've moved on. We've moved along. So let's see. But we got our family here anyway, so that's a good thing. For his costume, the duck had a simple idea. Taking some paint, black and white, he painted his feathers and changed all together. Voila, I'm a penguin tonight. Do you think that a duck could do that and become a penguin? That's pretty fun. Let's see. <gasps> Giraffes, my absolute favorite. Giraffes had decided to dress up as mummies, but something had clearly gone wrong. They did not have enough of the mummy wrap stuff because their necks were simply too long. Oh my god, look at that. But you kind of knew what they were. Look at those nice looking giraffes. Man, that's some good giraffes. When the clown tried to dress as a scarecrow, he found that the straw scratched and tickled his skin. But a good substitute was a skeleton suit and a mask with a big, goofy grin. Oh, he is a skeleton clown. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to meet a skeleton clown. How about you guys? The dolls wanted costumes that worked as a pair, like two shoes or a lock and a key, or a fork and a spoon, or the sun and the moon. 
They came up with a flower and a bee. Well, that's a very naturey, isn't it? What would you be for Halloween? What would you be? I think if I wasn't now, I'd be some Harry Potter because I look a lot like Harry Potter. Or maybe Hermione. I would like to be Hermione, too. Or William Shakespeare. Those are all good ones, too. Let's see. The elephant put on a thick curly wig and the carpet that covered him fully, adding tusks that were fake. There could be no mistake. He's a mammoth and oh, so very woolly. Look, he came as a woolly mammoth. Who likes woolly mammoths? Oh man, I sure do. I like them way more than um, regular elephants. They're so great. I just love them. Trick-or-treating had ended, but the little blue engine had one last surprise left to share. She'd planned at the station a huge celebration and brought her own costume to wear. <gasps> Let's see. Ooh, they have games. Okay, does anybody know what on earth is the little blue engine? What is she? Can anybody see? Yeah, she's a pirate. And they're going to have such good times. They're going to have a Halloween party. Have you ever had a Halloween party? Oh, man, they're super fun. Sometimes bobbing for apples and then pin the tail on the werewolf. That's a new one. And maybe caramel apples and cake and cookies. Who knows? Maybe even chips or cheesies. And you all get to dress up in your wonderful, amazing costumes and have a really good time. So, everybody, just want to say happy Halloween from Bear and me and Brayden. Oh, get in there, Brayden. Brayden. <laughs>